Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. Today we are going to make fajita pockets, or that's what I call them. Um, and we get them started by slicing and dicing our veggies. We're gonna use a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and a yellow onion. And we need to dice them, almost mince. Um, they wanna be pretty small since they're gonna go inside these little flour tortilla triangles, um, but that's how it starts with you getting your vegetables ready. After your vegetables are all done, you want to get your meat ready. Um, I'm using a butcher box steak and I am trimming off the fat. You do what you want, you don't have to do that at all. Um, and you're going to leave the steak whole for cooking, but the chicken, you're going to dice that into very small pieces. You can actually leave the chicken whole and just dice it up after you cook it. Um, but I like, I've explained this before, I think in the black and chicken and broccoli pot pie video, but the more surface area, um, the more flavor and kind of char the chicken gets. So it's a preference, but you can do whatever you like. Um, but after you have your meat all prepared, um, I seasoned the steak with um, some fajita seasoning, but not much. And most of it is gonna go on the chicken. to shred your cheese. I am using pepper jack and um, I hand grated some extra sharp cheddar later. And you also want to make your flour paste that's going to seal your tortillas together. Um, you'll do this with some flour and some water. Um, just mix it until it's kind of a paste. Set that aside and then go ahead and start uncooking your filling. Um, you're going to start by sauteing your onions until they're golden brown. Um, my fajita seasoning doesn't have any salt in it. Um, I think the recipe in my cookbook does, but the one that I made for this doesn't. So I am adding extra salt as needed to the recipe. Um, after your onions are kind of golden, go ahead and add in your peppers. Um, I also add in the minced garlic at this time. It's dried minced garlic that I use in this recipe. You can feel free to you know, mince them and use fresh garlic if you want, or just a ton of garlic powder. Um, but let that cook for a bit. You want the moisture that's accumulated while it's set to kind of dry off, and then mix it all together. Once it's all cooked through and softened to your liking, um, go ahead and toss it in a large mixing bowl. Um, I separated some of it and added just cheese. That's for my daughter that doesn't eat meat. Um, but then you wanna get started on your meats. Um, add your steak with a bit of oil. You're just searing the steak on both sides. You don't wanna cook it all the way through. It's If you cook it all the way through now, it's going to be tough in the final product. So even if you like well done steak, just go with it. I mean. Do what you want, honestly. If you want little chewy bits of steak all in your fajita pockets, then you do you. Um, but after your steak is done, go ahead and add your chicken. Cook it in a single layer until it's, you know, 
pretty much done on one side, it'll become a paper around the edges, and then stir that all up. You can go ahead and add your cheese to the peppers. I'm shredding in some more of that cheddar, like I said, I hand grated some. And you're going to let the heat from the peppers start to melt that cheese. Also from the steak. And like you, like I said, it's extremely rare, but don't get freaked out, it's fine. Let the heat from the peppers, the steak, and the onions melt the cheese and then stir it up really well together. Everything should be well combined. Then you're going to slice your tortillas in half and warm them up in the microwave until they're pliable. We're going to assemble. It's kind of like making a samosa, sort of. You want to make sure you use that flour paste to seal the edges. But I'm going to show you a few ways not to make them first. This, this is pretty sized, I mean sized well, but it's not tight and there's a huge opening at the bottom. That's not good if there's an opening in the bottom or if they're not sealed well, it's just going to get oil inside. You can also do it too small, like a little ice cream cone, like what the hell can you fit in that? Nothing. Um, it's too little. So you want to make sure that you're kind of folding it over a third of the way. After you have it about a third of the way, go ahead and roll, making sure that you press those sides into each other and you wanna press the bottom, um, like that little point at the bottom, press it together. And then you wanna fill. Fill them pretty tightly, don't overstuff them and be gentle. And then use a bit of that paste to um, coat the inside edge again and then seal it. Make sure you always seal that point down at the tip too and just continue until all of your tortilla halves are gone. Um, all of your meat mixture should be gone too, but if not, it's delicious on its own, on rice, in burritos, whatever you wanna do with it. I'll just let you guys watch me fill these over and over so that hopefully the visual is, is helpful if you've never made these before. some of them with the fork just so that I know which ones don't have meat in them but if that makes you feel better about you know the seal staying together you can do that as well but it's not really necessary with the flour paste they're all made uh, you're gonna go ahead and fry them you're gonna deep fry them in small batches don't overdo it um, you don't want them to stick together or and you don't want the oil to drop easiest way to get greasy oily fried food is to let the oil temperature drop um, because then the oil kind of seeps in there's no hot air to keep the oil on the outside of the food you're gonna cook them 
I'm using nacho cheese tortillas that are also already kind of orange, so I'm not looking for a real color here, but I fried them for about four minutes each, just to get a nice color, but to make sure that they're nice and crispy on the outside. And yeah, that's one that's filled with just cheese. It should not take too long. The hardest part is assembling them. Um, cooking them is a breeze. As you can see with these, that seal was like, <laughs> it just, it says screw me and just disappeared. So those all popped open, but it's fine. It's like little fajita ice cream cones, I guess. This is what they look like on the inside. And yes, I am eating it. They're really good, really good. And the recipe is on deepbrighthoney.com. It's linked in the video description. Um, as always, of course, I really appreciate you spending a few minutes out of your day with me. This is a longer video than most, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your week.